El Chingon asks, is there a problem using 14 AWG battery wires on a 6S cinematic quad using blah, 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 blah. Uh, thank you for $5 super chat, El Chingon. Uh, the question, uh, none of the information that you're giving me, it's a 6S mid-range cinematic quad using a flight controller, et cetera, et cetera. None of that is in any way relevant to the question of whether you can use 14 gauge wires. And I, I say that because I want you to understand what actually goes into answering this question. You need to know how much current will be flowing from the battery. And the way to answer that is largely to do with the motors and props. So what I would want to know is what battery are you using and what wire gauge is on the battery? And in general, as a rule of thumb, you should use the same wire gauge that's on the battery or maybe one size smaller as long as you keep your battery lead relatively short. Okay, that's it. Now, if you wanted to really get into it, you could look at how many amps your motors were pulling, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I want to encourage you not to go. Do not. I want to discourage you from going to a, an ampacity chart. An ampacity chart like this one. Do not do this. Wire gauge amp rating chart. This is for wire gauges in like cars, or sometimes the ampacity chart is for wire gauge in the wall. A quadcopter, the, the, the limitation for the ampacity of a wire is largely the heat buildup in the wire. And a quadcopter XT60 lead, number one, it is very short, okay? So it has very little resistance. Okay, all these all these measurements are for two foot up to 50 foot. Okay, we're talking about six inches, maybe. Okay, so immediately we've bought ourselves a significant amount of ampacity. And number two, we are flying a quadcopter at 70, 80 miles an hour. There is a ton of airflow cooling it. Okay, so these charts are worthless. And finally, in most cases, we're not going to pull 60, 80, 100, 150 amps for very long. Now, if you're building a big, heavy Cinelifter that's going to pull 80 amps at cruise, then that's a different story. But for a 5-inch drone, like you can spec 14-gauge wire and you can pull 150 amps through it for 30 seconds, for 25 seconds, and then your battery's dead or you're done with that run. So in short, 14 gauge, look at your battery. The manufacturer has sized your battery with a wire gauge that they think is appropriate. Use that wire gauge or maybe one size smaller. That's my recommendation.